Good afternoon everyone, Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. We're going to show you this afternoon a 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442. Now this car has been rotisserie restored and it has been restored um, within the past few years. The car runs and drives spectacular. The car was completed in, I think, the fall of 2019, so it's got a few, uh, few miles under its belt. And the paint on this car is absolutely amazing. The body is super straight. Um, the car features, uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't look the numbers up on it, but I, I think it's a 350 cubic inch engine in this car, but it is built. It has aluminum heads on it. It has uh, a Holley Sniper fuel injection system on it. The car starts and runs great. I would consider this car to be kind of a resto mod. Um, it has four wheel disc brakes on it. Um, it has a, uh, like I say, it's fuel injected. It has power steering and power brakes along with the four wheel disc brakes. It also has vintage heat and air conditioning. So it's got the upgraded heat and air conditioning system. As I walk around this car, uh, that door isn't shut. No, the gap's not bad. I don't know if the door's not shut. There it is. There you can see how good them door gaps are. This car was completed by a body shop um, out near Des Moines, and the car is beautiful. They do excellent work out there, and it really shows the car Looks, runs, drives, sounds amazing. I have a, a file full of paperwork, um, inch and a half, two inches thick with all the uh, updates they did to this car. This car was a frame off restoration. All the suspension has been gone through. The engine, the transmission, the wiring. Uh, I don't know if there was anything that was left unturned on this car. It has a set of US mag wheels on it, front and back. They look spectacular on the car. I know the sometimes the hardest part of redoing a car, I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but sometimes the hardest part about redoing the car is when you get to that finishing stage where you have to decide what wheels you're gonna put on the car. Um, I think they made a really good choice on this car. They look great on the car. There's that door gap too. It looks great, just like the back of the door. It's really tough to find a body shop that does as good a work um, as everyone expects. And this, they just, they really knocked it out of the park on this car. Is this a $150,000 car? No, it's not. But this car, they treated it like it was, and it really shows. Beautiful blue. That black stripe down the side, kind of curvature of the wheel arches, really, really sets this car off. And I'll get you really super close to the car so you can see just how nice the paint is on this car. And I am underneath these really bright LED lights and you cannot see imperfections in this car because it really doesn't have any. I mean, if you really want to get really really picky i'm sure you could probably find some little thing you didn't like about it but that's like i said that'd be pretty nitpicky because the car is gorgeous here's the interior in the car this is a bench seat car the seats were all redone the carpet was has been all redone i'm not sure if those are new door panels or if they are original door panels i'm not sure about that I didn't look through every single receipt in that book, but there's your door jams, your rubber door seals. This is a very, very good quality car. The back seat is just the same way. The interior is super nice, the carpet looks great. Um, it's got two sets of floor mats in it, carpeted set, a rubber set on top of that. The top is brand new. Um, it is a power top. 
Um, got some information here. Some original paperwork in the glove box. Not exactly sure what everything is. I'll have to look through that stuff. Um, but just a, a great automobile. Um, it's got a retro sound stereo system in it. Um, it does have a, a Dakota digital dash in the car. Like I say, it's kind of a resto mod. All underneath the car, the, uh, the sway bar. The sway bars are all brand new. The bushings are new. Suspension has is, is all been upgraded. The underneath the car looks spectacular. New gas tank, Flowmaster mufflers. Looks like it's got three inch exhaust on it. Very, very nice car, very good quality car. These cars are really expensive nowadays. They bring a lot of money. And the color on the car is absolutely gorgeous as well. There's the interior in the car on the driver's side. Your interior door panel. Your jams. Oops, I got the keys in the trunk. Well, while I'm back here at the trunk, I'll open the trunk and show you the inside of the trunk. There's the inside of the trunk. Looks great. There's your boot for your top, your spare tire, your jack, your lug wrench. Everything is all there. There's your jams. Oops. There you go. Right here on this pan back panel, there's a little spot right here. I don't know if they were when they were wet sanded, if they actually sanded through that little spot. I don't know if you can see that. I got a little wax stuck in there. But right here on this little this little spot right there, it's about the size of my not even a quarter of my fingernail. A little spot on it. Like that's about the only spot of the whole car you can really pick apart. But that's how we do things here at Kenyon Classic Cars, I want to show you everything I know about the car, everything you can see, um, well, everything you can't see that I can see from the video, I want to be sure to tell you about, because that's just how we do things here. We want to be honest with everybody. We ship these cars all over the country, and we want people to know exactly what they're getting when their car arrives. There's your digital dash, it's got your electric fuel pump. I usually turn the key on, let that pump kick on, let it kick off. Hit the key, starts right up. Your tack is over there. Your left turn signal, your right turn signal. Your horn. And then this button down here, that's to set your gauges, to calibrate your gauges. The air blows cold, I just had it running. I will show you the underneath the hood of the car. I know if you look at my website, there is pictures of the underneath of the car. Um, but I'm gonna show you the underneath of it right now. I might have to set you down here for a second. There we go. Very nice 
nicely detailed engine compartment. Um, you can see how nice it is underneath here. It has aluminum radiator. Um, it has aluminum heads, aluminum intake, and of course fuel injection. There's your vintage air conditioning compressor. Um, it is a factory AC car, um, but they did upgrade it to a uh, like a vintage system. Um, vintage, a newer style compressor, I should say. Uh, your heater is hooked up as well. I know a lot of these cars, they don't hook the heaters up, and when you get out uh, in the winter time, well, not in the winter time, but in the fall of the year, you want to go on a leaf run or something. Sometimes it gets a little chilly, and you kind of like to have that heater going. So it does work. Aluminum heads, aluminum intake, chrome valve covers, chrome alternator. Um, looks like it's got a new uh, wiper motor on it. Just a gorgeous car. Gorgeous, gorgeous car in every way. I'm going to shut the hood. It does have the... Uh, get that string out of your way there. It does have the hood fasteners there, just like it should have. Got the air induction hood. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take you for a ride down the road. Listen to that baby, she sounds nice. You like some plate light work, your tail light work. I do have a bulb out right there, I'll have to look at that for you. Very, very good sounding car. There's all your headlights. I got a marker light up front there that's out as well. That's why we just go through these cars together and then we can find out what works and what don't work and if something doesn't work, we'll go through it with you and we'll uh, figure it out. We're gonna go for a little cruise here. There's a beautiful 56 Chevy and that beautiful 69 Resto Mod Mustang. Now, as I told you earlier, I've done another video and I am by myself, so you'll have to just uh, bear with me a little bit here. I'm by myself and I'm taking this video, so.
fun car to drive. The air conditioning blows cold. I have I didn't put the top down on the car. The power top works just like it should. If you have any questions about this car or any other car we have in stock, please give us a call, 563-452-2450. Look us up on our website, KenyanAuto.com. That's KenyanAuto.com, K-I-N-I-O-N Auto.com. Thank you for watching our videos. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Until next time.